about 9.30. I was by myself on the beach. There was two people in the water already. I heard screaming. And I saw the blood. It seemed like more and more sharks were arriving in Cape Cod each year. But not until the poor boy was killed did it really seem like, OK, now they're here. It's never quite been the same since the fatal attack. It did cause a rift in the community. This was a beautiful young man who lost his life because we've been sitting doing nothing. Violence can intersect any moment, but one wouldn't have thought of the sunny afternoon off the coast of New England. A shadow was waiting. It's easy to get caught up in the Jaws angle to things. It was like this thing around. And take our eye off the bigger picture. The research we're doing is really to learn more about these animals so that we can prevent a bad interaction with a shark. Yeah. Sharks, they're attracted by the seals, and there are a lot of seals. Because of the Marine Mammal Protection Act, you can't touch them, you can't look at them, you can't even yell at them as you go past them. But there's something else going on down there. The water's warm, so everything's marching north. Human activities have imbalanced the ecosystem. We have a problem here, ladies and gentlemen, and the problem is man-made. We like to think that our lives are orderly, but we don't find cooperation from the natural world. Did you see that? A fin. Some of these people are acting like the ocean's their little playground. No, it doesn't work that way. We're right in the damn swimming area. The marine balance equation means humans are part of the equation. Finding that balance is not easy. Humankind must learn humility in the face of nature.